speak to the way to collect a confession, use a, a force, and uh, sometimes use torture. Because but they have all the incentives to carry mm -hmm. out investigation in this way. Because by using those forced confessions, they can quicken the step of the investigation and get better results of the investigation. Yeah, that's very good. That's right. So they say also they, they smell the bad, but they taste the good. That's a torture. Uh, so for the current criminal procedure, it is a problem. Although there is a prohibition for using torture, but we don't have the exclusionary rule against the illegally obtained evidence. Mm -hmm. So the torture is forbidden, but the evidence is good. Mm -hmm. You have got the confession, it can prove the crime of the defendant, you can use it. But the progress made by this amendment is that we have a quite a clear mm -hmm. exclusionary rule to say that uh, if a confession obtained through torture, it should be excluded, mm -hmm. absolutely. So with this in place, do you think it will change the way that the Chinese investigation organs are carrying out their criminal investigation? For example, the prosecution and the police will no longer use forced confession. They will have a harder time getting what they are uh, trying to get. Yeah, I think we definitely push the investigators to collect evidence in a legal way, in a, another way that they can, I mean, more factual way. Uh, you're very right that the reason they use the first confession is because it's a very quick way. If you force them to say they have done a crime, then you can quickly close the case, right? Then it will push them in a more objective way to collect the evidence and think it will make more fair and reasonable justice. Mm. Let's also talk about the role of the attorneys. Uh, this time it will enforce the power of the attorneys. Uh, the criminal suspects will have the right to talk to attorneys even during the process of investigation. How important is that? Uh, I think it has the basic function of uh, protect the rights of the suspects and also can pro prevent the using of illegal means to obtain evidence such as torture. So you know that uh, most of the criminal suspects uh, don't have the knowledge of law. Although they have the right to defend themselves, they don't have the knowledge, they don't have the skill. So they need a lawyer's <coughs> help. So I think the change of this amendment is uh, very important to give sufficient uh, legal or protection by a professional lawyers mm. in criminal proceedings. Uh, yeah, so this is a great In the current system, Luca, do you think an attorney is having a difficult time getting access to the suspect before the police carrying out their investigation? Uh, well, there are great difficulties. For example, if you want to see the suspect, um, you need approval of the police. And when you meet the suspect,